Why do you walk like that? You want to film a YouTube video? No. Cool. I'll see you in 10. All right. Ready? Wow! Isn't that so much better? Something... Stop! Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am joined with my fiance, Christopher, oh. who is amazing and we're in love. Today, I am going to give you a video that you did not ask for. I am going to have Christopher guess the price of my rarest plants. The rarest one? Yeah. Aren't they all just gonna be expensive? No, actually. That's why this is gonna be fun. Christopher, before we get started, tell us one exciting thing about you. One interesting thing about me would be the a Twitch stream, I guess. That's what I was thinking too. Twitch.tv slash stoppy22. That's my username, so. I just Come watch him! With my friend, so. He's really funny. I can be at times. You always get so shy whenever I put you on camera. You don't ever look at the camera. I don't like to look at myself. I know you don't. I don't like looking at it. Just look at me. I'm cute, right? I don't like looking at you. <laughs> okay, so let's get this started. These plants are in no particular order. They're just the one that I reach for first. Sound good? Yeah. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Tell me your emotions right now. My lips are chapped and faded. All right, that's exactly what Chloe said when I did my video with her. Really? <laughs> yeah. By the way, I'm not wearing my glasses because- Just oh. wear your stupid No, glasses. it's really annoying, look. Oh yeah, you look stupid. <laughs> it looks really bad. <laughs> Just look down. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'll tell you the name. Mm -hmm. well, wow, I makes can't the guess plants. Names. No. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try to guess the name? Yeah. I feel like you don't know enough. Greenfellow. <laughs> Christopher has named this plant Greenfellow. Here, take a closer look at the leaf. Don't touch it. It's got bacteria on it. If you touch it, it'll activate Why are you touching it? I'm touching the stem. This is the Philodendron Painted Lady. What? There's She's nothing painted beautiful. about it. Yeah, it's just is. green. Look. No, it's not. See? It's patterns. No. Yes, it does. You see, go look. outside and see the same leaf. But why don't you tell me what you think the price of the philodendron painted lady is? Seventy dollars. Are you actually guessing? Yeah. I want you to actually guess. It's an actual guess. Okay. One hundred and seventy bones. I feel like you're not actually guessing. That's my it's, guess. Final answer. It's only fun if you actually guess. Yeah, that's my guess. One hundred and seventy dollars. <sighs> I know your plants are expensive. Okay, so I got that plant for sixty dollars. What the hell? <laughs> it is on actually the less rare side. I but do you see the? You just touched the, the leaf. I, the bacteria is up there. You don't know where the bacteria is. I can touch How it. How can you? Because I know that it's right there. Bacteria vision. No, I do. You don't I, even have your glasses on. <laughs> I know where it is. I've been monitoring this plant for a while. Because uh -huh. he's sick. All of the leaves are infected. But if I don't touch it, it's fine. Anyways. They already know that. They've watched the video. You haven't watched it. He's not even coughing. Do you How see do you know it? Syngonium albo verigata syngoniosi. Syngonium podophyllum albo verigata. What's your guess for the price of this plant? $120. $120. It's got white on it. I know the white ones are expensive. So this plant cost me. I'm pretty sure it was $30. You don't even know. No, I'm pretty You're sure it was $30. You're having me guess, and you don't even know. This one was a recent purchase. I have kind of stopped paying attention to prices. So it could have been less. I'm guessing 30 is on the upside. It could have been, no, I remember it was more expensive because I watched someone put it back. So I think 30, I think 30 was the price. But she's pretty. When I got her, she actually had an all white leaf, but that thing melted like butter, so. She came off. You what can actually see where it melted off right there. So wow, this light is I think the best thing I've ever purchased. The next plant. If you didn't just say its name, I would have said that it was the Jurassic plant. The Jurassic plant? Yeah, because it looks like one of like the ferns. I, I like ferns. Ferns are my favorite plants because they look really cool. 
How are we dating? I hate ferns. Like if these plants didn't exist in like every dinosaur movie I watched as a kid, then I probably wouldn't like them. So this is the Zamiococcus samiafolia raven zz. This variety gets, it looks so green on this camera. This plant is different. <laughs> this plant will come out bright green and then it turns dark instead of staying bright green and then being regular green zz. Uh, but here's the black is the black is starting to come in which is cool so christopher yeah how much do you think this plant cost me 70 bucks really yeah this plant cost me 75 dollars i was really close That's pretty good good job i didn't even see the tag yep 75 hey from our boys every okay let's do this one that's not even a plant. Yes, it is. No. This is a very... Nothing. How can you have me guess a plant that's not even a plant? That's the fun part. Hey, how much did this dirt cost? <laughs> so this is Philodendron Gigas. She's a beautiful plant did when not she... not feel very Gigas right now. <laughs> yeah, it's because she had an accident when I imported her from Thailand. Okay, how much do you think that plant costs? Uh, it'd be easier to tell if, what it looked like, like if there's white on it, then I know it's expensive. $120. Okay. So that plant actually only cost me $75. What the heck? But that's because I imported it from Thailand. Mm -hmm. $75 is very cheap for that plant. Mm -hmm. And so what would you say, $120? Yeah. $120 is also very cheap for that plant. United States market retail off of Etsy and eBay runs you about 200 to $300 for a gigas. That's not really a gigas though. There's nothing there. Oh, the leaves when I got it, Chris, were this big. Next one. Potato. <laughs> yes. That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, potato. potato. This was actually a different plant that I had in here originally. This is Serapegia woodii variegata. She is beautiful. What do you think her price is? $30. $30? Mm -hmm. I got this plant for $6. God damn it. I knew it was cheap. Only because I got it at Lowe's. It's a crazy accident. Like, the rarest plant I've ever found. I also found this string of turtles yeah, at Lowe's. Yeah, I've seen you buy the string of turtles before. Isn't this the same plant right here? As this one. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So I've seen you get those for pretty cheap. But this one will actually run you about 30 US dollars for a cutting. Wow, look at how pretty it looks on camera. What did what would you think this is called? You told me it's an alien plant. I did. I said it, it reminded me of Alien, the movie. This is the Alocasia Cupria. How much do you think this plant cost me? And I did tell you at one point how much it cost. $185. $185? Yeah. Is that your final guess? Yeah. I got this plant for $90. He originally came with five beautiful leaves, and then he put out a sixth one, and then the bacteria culling happened, and he lost four of his leaves. He does have another spot down here, so as soon as he finally decides to put out a new leaf, which hasn't happened in like two months now, um, I will cut off this one. Yeah, that's coming back to me. I remember it being $95. Right? 90 Wow. Let me show them. Hold on. Is it dead? Nope. That's what it looks like? Yeah. It's not dead? No. Do you Can't like you it? you buy these at Albertsons and they're always dead? <laughs> no, you cannot. You cannot buy these in any store. You used to buy these all the time. Nope. And like, that's what the dead part of them looked like. They, they would have a normal plant. In fact, I bought you one of these. No, you're begonia. you're talking about Calathea white yeah. fusion. Mm -hmm. And the dead no. part of it looked like this. No. Because <laughs> you didn't, like, it died. <laughs> no. Okay, what do you think this plant is called? It's a begonia, right? This is not a begonia. Mm, it looks like a fire plant. A fire plant. From like wow, when you like herbalize, there's like plants like this. Okay. Fire herb. Fire herb. So this is called a philodendron pink princess. Everything's a philodendron, man. Because I like philodendrons. Philodendron. Philodendron. <laughs> yeah, so this is the philodendron pink princess. How much do you think I paid for this plant? Oh, I've heard this name. So this is what the pink princess looks like. <laughs> this is another instance where Ashley used to name her plants. This pot, it says Jim Oh, Taylor. yeah. It was, a, it was a Hoya Carii heart that would never root into a real plant before I knew that was a thing. So I named it Jim Carii. 
I think that's creative. All right. Um, I know this was a lot because you talk about it being expensive. So I'm going to go with the expensive side. I'm going to say it's $90. 90's expensive? Hi friends, real quick, I just wanted to address this because it sounds so weird in the video. So when I say 90's expensive, like it's not expensive, I'm talking very specifically about the Pink Princess plant, which will sell for usually $200 to $400, which I talk about. But I just wanted to let you know, I don't think $90 is cheap. I just feel like that needed to be said. Continue with the video. Well, I thought that 90 one, is not expensive. I thought that one was expensive, and these are all trick questions. So your plant, if you get a plant that size, it's like 90 bucks. But like in reality, <laughs> if you buy the big plant, it's like 200 or 300 dollars. So like my guesses aren't completely wrong. So for a plant this size, I'd say 90. 90. Okay, I understand. So I actually got this plant for free. That's so you cheated. <laughs> I did a trade. You did a cheat. <laughs> I did a trade with a wonderful girl. This game's no longer fun. <laughs> Pink Princess will usually run you the same as an elbow, so two hundred dollars to four hundred dollars, depending on the size. But um, no, it's just really small. I sent her a cutting of an elbow I had been rooting for a while. And That's she, the white one, right? She sent me this one. Yep, that is the white one. Mm -hmm. One of the white ones. This is my Ataba Poensi. This is the first one I ever I like letting bought. Me guess the names. I'm so sorry, I just keep forgetting. <laughs> Christopher, what do you think this plant is called? Let me show you the back, it's red. Ataba Poensi. <laughs> <laughs> you just know off it's the top of your head. It's a red banana. <laughs> <laughs> it's a red banana. Yeah, it looks like red bananas. <laughs> guess how much I paid for this plant. Mm -hmm. And look at, there's more leaves. There's three back here. But I actually, $200. I cut off three other leaves. I bought this plant for $85. You're mm -hmm. It's because I got it at Gurtons. I hate this pot. I hate this pot so much. Yeah, why? Why don't you like it? Because it's a face. Yeah, it's great. What do you think this plant is called? Mm. A philodendron? <laughs> it's actually not a philodendron. A long boy. A long boy. Yeah. Okay. So this plant is called the Anthurium vitarifolium. Ah, that's what I meant. You're right. I should have known. That's exactly what I meant. You actually said that. I heard long boy. <laughs> so this is the Anthurium vitarifolium. She is beautiful. I talked about her in one of my most recent videos because I think someone priced her wrong. I got this plant. Oh, how much? How much do you think it costs? I remember the name that time and almost forgot the prey. Uh, I actually think I paid for this plant. Since you don't watch my videos. $30, you know. I do watch your videos. $30? You don't watch my videos. I do. I've commented and liked every single one of your videos, Ashley. How much do you think it costs for real? 60 I actually got this plant for $75. Pretty close. Which is a really good price for this plant. This plant will normally run you for a vitarifolium this mature, about $200. It usually goes for about 100 for a seedling. So I don't know what the person was on that posted this to eBay. Uh, is it a Monstera Deliciosa? What kind? Verigata. What kind of Verigata? <laughs> what do you mean what kind? There's a specific kind. Which Just kind? give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Monstera Deliciosa Albo Variegata. Oh, whatever. Albo means white. Alba I got it. means yellow. I guessed it. You got Yeah, you did. That was really good. Uh, this plant, how much does it cost? Uh, these, is this the one that you grow in your greenhouse? What? Is this yes. That, yeah, it's like $190. $190. Either that or it's more. For this size, I'd say $190. $190? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to cry? Is it like $400? I but paid. I thought the bigger ones are $400. I paid $325 oh for this plant. Lordy. Which is a lot. I would not ever sell this plant in this size for that much money but i got all of my other albos free but i decided that based on all the ones that i got for free i should be willing to make up for that and give back to a nursery 
that I really, really enjoy. So, plus she's beautiful. She's a beautiful specimen. Pretty solid. And she is a Monstera deliciosa, not a Monstera borzigiana, which is a different kind. Not if you want so me to delicious. do a Monstera video, leave a comment. Chris is loving this. Hmm. Aren't we so cute? <laughs> Christopher, what is this plant called? I don't know, it looks kind of like a helicopter. <laughs> but I think I might actually know this one. This one... I talk about it a lot. As much as my Adaba Quancy. So it's a Billy tie? <gasps> oh my gosh, you got it right! I got the last one right and you didn't get this happy. Well, that was easy. I like, everyone knows what those are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a very niche plant. Hmm. It's like the Adaba Poensy, but a little bit more popular. Yeah, he looks like a helicopter. Like, it's because I have him, he's got very long petiole and he likes to touch other plant leaves, so I keep him upright. How much do you think that this plant costs me? Um, $75. <laughs> Why 75 I don't know, I'm pretty sure you bought a Billy Tie for $75. I have bought a Billy Tie at $75. I knew it. That one was the one from Thailand, uh -huh. not this one. Or I have three of these. Yeah, but technically I'm right. Yes, I have bought a Billy Tie for $75. So I'm right. This plant was so weird. I got this plant for $40 with $13.95 shipping, so it came out to like $53.95. And the seller was not happy. She... Oh, I think I remember this. You sell for a lot of money. She almost didn't sell it to you, right? Yeah, because Billy Tie, you can get one this size with this many leaves, $150 minimum for a big billy tie, like a really well-established one with longer leaves, probably like $250 to $300. That's a lot of money. For a variegated billy tie, which exists, $500 to $700. That's so much money. Even for little ones. So the fact that this sold to me for $53.95, she was not happy. Yeah, you asked like one question and she was like, you don't want to play anymore. Yeah, no, she was like, there was dust on the leaves and it kind of looked like thrips. So I was like, hey, are there bugs on it? And she was like, if you're going to ask that, just don't buy it. And I was like, that's exactly what she sent me in the email. That was it. And I was like, pay before she decided to cancel the transaction. So yeah, I got this guy for 50 bucks, which is literally insane. Here is a fun one. Turtle boy. I don't remember what these ones are called, but didn't your cat eat it? No. This one's not eaten? No. Why does it look like that? Because she sent it to me when the new leaf was coming out. Oh. And the leaves start small and they slowly get bigger. So it got mummy. So as it grew, the, the crack in the leaf got bigger. Hmm. He's healthy. It's a healthy leaf. He's just gross. Hmm. Me. <laughs> healthy but gross. <laughs> healthy. <laughs> what do you think the plant's called? Uh, tortoise, dundron, phila, gigas. Do you think um, it's a philodendron or do you think it's an anthurium? It's an anthurium. Good job. Good job. I just don't know the words. When the words are given to me, it's like a, it's like a multiple it's almost choice like you, test. It's almost like you forgot what if it's this called. this was a multiple choice test, I would win. Anthurium turtle. <laughs> this is anthurium forget EI. Oh. Whatever, yeah. no one's gonna pick up on that. Um, no, literally you, anyone would pick up on that. I have heard you call it that before. Forgetty eye. Forgetty eye. It's especially anthurium because instead of having little lobes right here, circle. Mm -hmm. And almost all anthurium have heart-shaped leaves, but these are ovular. And they also have very silvery vein, like if you were to shine a light I on like this. this one because it looks it like this is where Spider-Man got it. Yeah, doesn't it? I love it. It looks like a, like, it looks like a spider. A super suit. How much did I pay for this plant? $70. No. $71. I paid $110 for this plant. Damn. I got it from Cube House Jungle on Instagram. Follow her. She just sales like every week. It's amazing. This is actually very inexpensive for that plant. This plant will run you about 200 to $300 for a fully established one like this. It does look pretty cool, so I can see why it would be so much. Also, it they normally have very silvery veins. You can see in the newer leaf, the vein is a lot stronger and more prominent than in this one. 
and there's a lot more silver. Like this is actually, I don't know how well it'll show up. Let's see if we can get it to focus. <laughs> no, you can't, but that's like sparkly. It'll sparkle. Begonia. <laughs> they get variegata. Begonia variegata. It is variegated, good job. I'm gonna show them. All right, Christopher, what is this plant called? Begonia variegata. Is that your final guess? Mm -hmm. This is called a Monstera Standaleana. It doesn't even look like a, this is an imposter. Albo variegata. Albo? This Albo. is an imposter. See, wait. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like the old plant that you had named Bunny. Bunny, the ZZ plant? Yeah. He looks like a ZZ plant? How much did I pay for this plant? And okay, here, let me give you context. I bought this plant in a, uh, oh gosh. I bought this plant in a 12 inch pot, really big pot, and it was vining. Where's it was the rest big. of it? I, I cut it up and propagated it and I sold oh, some. Oh, you sold it already? That's yeah, cool. I sold some. I still have more. Um, well, this is my personal that plant. big. How rare is it? <sighs> Moderately rare? Well, no, it's in the rare family. The all green version is actually more rare than the variegated version. $150. That is exactly what I paid. Really? $150. I'm so good at this. You game. are, you've gotten two right out of 15. I think I've gotten three. Yeah, you're right, 75. Mm -hmm. The Billy Tie. Yeah. Good job. Okay. This one also has the price on it. Oh, yeah. Cover that. Let me show them. All right, Christopher, what is this plant called? It's a big one. Um, this is a monstera, right? No. It's an albo then. Mm, it is an albo. Yeah. That is the white variegation. Um, Although you could argue that that is alba. That is yellow right there. Oh gosh. What's it I called? I don't know. Albo philodendron? It's not a philodendron. It's actually the same genus as Fred. Oh, uh, God, what's Fred? Fred is a fry deck. Yes. So. Actually, it's a Mecolitziana, but that doesn't I've matter. I've never heard of that word escape your mouth. It's because fry deck is a misnomer. Fry deck is for when that plant is variegated, like this plant. What is but it's not variegated, so it's a Mecolitziana. I can't But remember. literally no one knows that. Oh. Like, Heck, this is an alocasia. Yeah! It's a, it's okay. A, it's a variegata. Okay. Variegata albo alocasia. You wanna, variga, that's okay, that's basically the name. Alocasia odora albo variegata. Hmm. How much did I pay for this plant? $200. $200? He's so big. I got this plant for $127. What? No way. Last plant! <laughs> I love this plant. Okay, so let me show you some leaves. Adoba Pawensi. No. Dang it. Very big leaves. It's very hard to sit with this plant here. Here's Why does it just have a log in there? That's a Monstera Albo I'm trying to root. So that's a different plant. It's the one you already guessed, yeah. <laughs> Okay, look, we're divided. This one's a Fred too, right? No. Dang. You were close when you guessed something earlier. I don't even know what I guessed earlier. You said fire. Fire? Mm -hmm. I never said fire. Yeah, you did. You said it looked like a fire plant. I said it looked like a forest plant. No, earlier, not this one. You said another plant looked like a fire yeah, plant. Yeah, that's, what do you mean I was close? Those are a completely different plant. <sighs> I'm saying that the name is similar. Rider. This plant has the word fire in its name. I don't know. This is the philodendron ring of fire. It's a philodendron. <laughs> Christopher, how much did I pay for this plant? Is it expensive? <laughs> you tell me. Where did you buy it? What's the location? Is this Albertson's plants or no. is this a greenhouse plant? Neither. So you didn't get it from like a It's room? a house plant shop plant. House plant shop plant? Yeah, not Albertson's and every greenhouse is a shop. Where? Where did you get it? Oregon? Portland. Uh, 
I was never around for that. This is also cheating. $180. Close. I got this point for $167. Oh my God. Which is a very good price. Normally you pay that much money for like a baby. I got this at Dennis 7D's in Portland, Oregon. I thought going to say Dennis Dillon's. Dennis Dillon. Ad. Sponsor me. <laughs> Dennis Dillon. Dillon's Dale Dimmidon. Oh, Doug's Dale Dimmidon. How was this experience? You guys can't be. Yeah, do you like knowing how much I spend on plants? No, I prefer not knowing. <laughs> We're not married yet, so it's not a problem. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. If you liked seeing Chris, smile. Chris is fun, I swear. No. You're not pitching yourself very well for your Twitch. It's okay. It's okay. I'm pretty monotone on my Twitch. Actually. No, you're fun and you're laughy and loudy. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Please leave a like, please subscribe, and please tweet me at I'm not gonna say it. David Dobrik. Please leave a comment if you're gonna sub to Chris on Twitch and me. help financially support us. <laughs> um, it's amazing. You can follow him as well. I thought they were the same thing. Yeah. I thought you could just choose follow to Follow does money. not cost any money. A subscribe does cost. You can subscribe to Twitch Prime, which is free, but that's Amazon Prime. Bye! Bye. Don't step on my plants. No, you're, stop. Stop it. Stop. <laughs>